Hi, we're going to talk about vision boards today. Um, a vision board is used to help us to manifest in our lives. Um, it can be uh, related to career, lifestyle, um, things that you actually want to manifest in your life. Um, and we vision board is to help us to visualize um, manifesting things in our life is a multifaceted activity um, it helps to envision what we want um, whether it's what kind of car do I want um, you know do I want a sunroof four doors um, heated seats it um what kind of car it can help us to uh, get clear on how we're trying to create something in our lives um i like to combine it with a meditation but of course the first thing we have to do is actually create the vision board um and i have one of my vision boards here and this one actually isn't complete but um i thought i would share it with you um i like to use foam core which is a little thicker and it's rigid so you don't have to worry about it flopping around i can obviously i can lean it against something easily um you could use thumbtacks i used um cut and paste here uh, taking things out of magazines I've also gone to the computer and printed things out um, I actually don't get many magazines anymore sometimes you can um, I know the um, one of my local thrift stores actually has um, magazines you can buy for a quarter um, which is great so um, I find I like to use a lot of words, um, you know, positive intention, maybe things that I want. I have my, you know, my dream home there. Um, I have travel. I have relationships. I have how I want to feel in life, uh, you know, bliss, joy. Um, and also as you're, you're looking for things is what are you attracted to? Um, you know, adventure there and, um, kind of the flavor you want your life to take symbolism. I have a, um, a hawk up there in the corner. My career is, is touched on there. So then how do I incorporate meditation into this? What I like to do um, is I like to have my vision board someplace where I'm going to see it on a regular basis. Um, and it's usually in my bedroom. And to take a few minutes every day to sit, look at the vision board, and um, focus on it and feel it, feel the words. Okay, so I might focus on um, bliss or joy and actually feel that. Um, unlocking your potential. And I wanna feel that when we're gonna manifest something in our lives, we wanna feel it. It's not just about um, affirming something, repeating words over in our mind. We really want to embody it. So to embody it, we have to really start allowing the vibration to trickle down through the body and allow ourselves to feel it and feel what's here. You know, when we, when we focus on a word, maybe joy, maybe, you know, we might even feel resistance to just be curious, but in order to get to the joy, you know, we have to discover what's there. So, um, 
taking the time every day, even if it's three minutes, um, even before you go to bed is really great, but it doesn't matter. Just take the time to, to um, create your vision board for one thing, to, to consider what you want in your life. You know, what are you trying to accomplish? What do you want in your life? What do you want to create? Getting clear creating that vision board and then spending some time with it as often as possible. And if you're not manifesting something, to be curious about what's getting in my way, what belief system is getting is is getting in the way. How can I embody what it is I say I want? Another exercise that I like to do um, and use it in meditation is taking a notebook. I'll take a notebook and one page of my notebook, and I actually don't have that here. I'm in, in my office right now, <clears throat> is I take a notebook and I will describe something. Like um, one of the things is my home. My home is my haven. It's peaceful. It's harmonious. It's full of love. It's clean, organized. My home feels connected to nature. Um, lots of natural light. Um, things like two-car garage, a fenced yard for my dog. Anything I can think of that I really want in my home goes on that page. And then when I'm going to sit to meditate, I look over it and I feel that in my body. I feel that in my energy field. In order to attract it, I have to allow it into my energy field. And feel, what does that feel like to, to, to live with it? What would it feel like? What's it going to feel like when, when I have that and feel like I have it already? And then I'll sit in meditation in that space of already having it. So it's a great exercise in manifesting. And that's a couple tools. You have the visual aspect. And then you can have the written aspect. And I like using them both to attract what it is I, I want. What it is I, I like. They always say, it's always said, act as if or feel as if you already have it. So it just gives you a couple tools to, to do that. Gratitude. Gratitude and feeling. This is how it feels to embody what it is I love. And then, of course, there's always things that we can do to... Um, it's like take a step. What is our... How, how do we help reinforce that intention of having it? <clears throat> what act can I do to have that? Um, here's an example um, that I did many years ago. Um, I had a desire to have a, 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 a fish pond in my yard. And um, my mother had given me some of her water plants, some water irises. And I put them in a bucket um, or a bucket or some kind of a container on my, on my, my deck. And, um, and I appreciated them. And I felt good about them. And I, you know, thought about what it is I want and what that would look like and how it would feel and sound to have a fish pond in my yard. And then, uh, the interesting thing happened. I was visiting a friend and admiring her fish pond. And, and I said, Oh, you know, I'd love to have one. And it was really funny. She, she, um, 
had an extra pond liner and she ended up giving me a pond liner so here I had plants a pond liner and then I went of course and you know purchased a pump and you know blah 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 and and got it put in but it was just it was kind of funny how that that it all came together um not in the order that you would necessarily think I got some part of it um and appreciated it um I have manifested um other things one of the things um I think it was my junior year at the Barbara Brennan School of Healing and um it was actually I was between my my sophomore and my junior year and I wasn't sure how I was going to pay my tuition um junior year so I knew I was going back that was clear a friend of mine happened to get, um, who, who had enrolled early, happened to get two copies of the homework assignment for junior year, and he was kind enough to give me a copy. So um, not knowing how I was going to pay for it, I went ahead and started the homework assignments, and I sat with my intention um, I actually stood with my intention every day be, um, to help really ground it. I really needed to feel grounded in that intention. So I stood in that alignment every day, affirming that I was going back. I worked on the reading assignments and the homework assignments. And lo and behold, what ended up, what ended up happening is another friend of mine that was aware that I was you know, in this challenging place, called me one day and she said, are you still going back to school? And I said, yes, I, I'm still not sure how, but I know I am. I can feel it. So she said, great. My mother's going to pay your tuition. And I, I had never even met this woman, but my friend had gone to bat for me and asked. And um, her mother said no at first and that she would pray on it and take it to her prayer circle. And um, at her prayer circle, she was guided to pay my tuition in full as a gift. Um, and it was, that was an amazing blessing. That is one of the biggest things I've ever, I've ever manifested. So I know, I know the power of attraction works. We embody it. We feel it. We visualize it. And what can I do to help it along? Sometimes there's nothing to, to do do, but if there is, then why not, you know, why not reinf reinforce it? So, um... If you have any questions, if you'd like to share some of your manifestation experiences, I'd love to hear from you. So um, get your vision boards going. We're coming into 2020. Um, it's going to be a great year. Every day is a great day. And hope to hear from you soon.